Hi, my name is Alan Braithwaite from the Geek Squad. I'm at the uh, Geek Squad precinct at Carphone Warehouse, Portsmouth. I'm here today just to talk to you a bit about home broadband. Essentially, there are two different types of broadband you can get in your home. ADSL, which stands for Asymmetric Digital Subscriber Line, and means that it moves quicker one way than the other, but is on one cable. And that's what we get on BT, through our BT lines. And the other type of broadband you can get is over cable. Uh, that's through fiber optic lines. And you might have seen NTL back in the day, or Virgin nowadays, laying those cables around your home. Um, when you hear on the news about 50 meg broadband, 100 meg broadband and other exciting speeds, that's with the cable on the fibre optic. Because it's a newer technology and the way it works, it allows you to get those quicker speeds. The ADSL lines, which are the old BT lines, the old copper lines where you see the guys moving around, that's what the majority of us have in our home. Um, fundamentally, you get up to 8 meg on ADSL or up to 24 meg on ADSL too. Uh, the reason we say up to, that's because it depends on how far away you live from the exchange. So the further away you live from the exchange and the more houses there are in your area, the slower speeds you're likely to get. For instance, where I live, I live quite away from the exchange, you can only get 4 meg broadband, whatever you know is said. So you can check that out by going on a website called samnose.com and there you type in your postcode and it will allow you to see how far away from the exchange you are, how many homes are connected to that exchange and what broadband packages are available to you as a consumer. And that's really all there is to know about home broadband.